Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you a combination that I did the other night that had me smelling like a sexy pina colada, okay? So if you love pineapple, if you love coconut, if you love a little saffron, then this video is for you because this routine right here got me complimented the whole night. I'm definitely gonna repeat this because I felt like it was a waste and we'll talk about it when we get into the video, okay? But if you wanna learn how to smell like a sexy pina colada, then please continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like this video, thumbs it up so YouTube knows you love my content, leave me a comment down below so we can get to know each other, and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Okay, y'all, so before we get into the routine, let me tell you this real, real quick. So it was a Saturday night, it was date night, and we had plans to go to New York. For me, it takes me a really long time to get ready. So I have to prepare, okay? I have to know what I'm wearing, or at least have narrowed it down to at least two options. I need to know what I'm gonna smell like because it's date night, I like to put effort into my routine and you know, what have you. So I had a whole routine planned out because it was supposed to be like a 80 degree day or an evening, whatever. And like, I was ready. I was ready for the heat and I was ready for this combo. But then mother nature had other plans and it rained. So we were like, all right, it rained and it stopped. But we were just like, it's raining, like it's probably gonna rain again. We don't wanna get caught out in the rain. So we just went somewhere local. I wouldn't have did all of this for that place, right? I would have wore something cute and kept it pushing. But because I really wanted to do this routine, I was like, you know what, I don't care. I'm gonna do the routine even though we're going somewhere local. I'm just gonna smell amazing. It is what it is. So y'all, let me show y'all. So I started with my Dove. Y'all already know that, okay? Dove Bar Soap for my base clean with my exfoliating gloves. I don't have them here to show y'all, but I think I showed y'all in enough videos, y'all already know, okay? My exfoliating gloves with my Dove. And I used a Cherry Dove Soap because that's what's in my shower right now. And then after I did that, I still had my gloves on, and then I went in with the Olay Fresh Outlast Pineapple and Coconut Water Body Wash. This is incredible. I've been talking about this forever here on my channel. It smells amazing. I'll link it, but you can get it from Walmart, Target. I mean, I think they still have it. It is amazing, okay? And then after that, I went down with my Tree Hut Pineapple Foaming Gel Wash in the pineapple scent. And you all already know, that pineapple scent from Tree Hut, oh, she hit different. It is so good. Okay, first of all, like, really? It's a whole hot child. It's, it on whatever, but it smells amazing, okay? Oh, it just smells like pineapple candy to me. It smells like pineapple heart candy. I'm obsessed with it, I love it. I have the scrub, I have the body cream, and I love them so much. Now, I could have layered all three of them, but what's fun in that? There's no fun in that. Sometimes I guess it could be fun to match everything, but for the most part, I'm mix matching, I'm coordinating. You gotta coordinate your outfits and you gotta coordinate your scent, unless you're doing something matchy-matchy on purpose, okay? And that's fun sometimes too. Those are my two body washes and from my scrub, I went down with the Way St. Bart's Scrub. Y'all, when I tell you, that, like honestly, this is like one of the best scrubs ever. And then it melts down into this like body polish consistency and then it gets sudsy. I mean, the journey that this scrub takes me on, I love it, absolutely love it. And the scent is also incredible. It has like a coconutty kind of scent but not like your typical coconut body scrub. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't smell overly coconutty. It smells like a spa on the island. So you're getting that coconutty kind of scent, but it smells like seaweed in a spa at the same time. I'm not sure what the notes are. I just know that it gives me coconut spa vibes. It is incredible. I love it. Like I said, it's a scrub and then it turns into a body polish, and then it turns into a soap because it gets sudsy and foamy, and I'm obsessed. So the way body scrub in the St. Bart scent. So then I went down with my oil by Shea Moisture in the coconut and hibiscus scent. Now, I will say this is not a dry body oil. 
This is a massage oil and a body oil and a shower oil. You can put it in your bath water. You can shower with it. You can put it on your body. You can massage with it. This is amazing. I will say this though. If you're somebody who wants the oil to absorb into your skin quickly, then this may not be for you because like I said, it's a body oil and a, and a massage oil. So it's not gonna absorb into your skin like what a dry oil would do. But let me put y'all on the game. This right here is a Janie stick. It's basically like a white chalk stick. This will absorb any grease and any oil stains that you end up getting on your garment, whether it's from food or from oil. Now I will say, if you're getting dressed and you get like a whole big stain of oil, you can't use this, okay? You're gonna have to take your outfit off and start from the drawing board and get something else. But if you get like a little stain like from your finger or whatever, then this is gonna be able to get it out. It's like I said, it's like a chalk stick and you just rub it on the garment, on the area that's affected with the oil and give it like three to five minutes and it'll soak it up and it literally will disappear in front of your eyes, okay? But if you're somebody, like I said, that wants to just get dressed and go, stay away from body oils and massage oils and just stick to dry body oils because they're gonna absorb into your skin and they're not gonna leave your skin looking greasy and they're not gonna sit on top of your skin. But for me, I love it, okay? So coconut and hibiscus. And then I went down with the body cream by way and it's also in the St. Bart scent beautiful scent it smells just like the scrub now this body cream it has a nice consistency it's not like fancy or Josie okay it's not giving you that oily nice slippery slidey glistening glowy kind of look to your skin but it's not drying like the tree hut uh, body cream so it's kind of in the middle but it also rubs into your skin nicely it's a nice consistency it's not super thick but it's not runny or anything like that, but it doesn't feel super thick. If you hold it upside down long enough, it will move, you know what I mean? But it's not runny, if that makes any sense. But I love it and it paired beautifully with this whole entire shower routine. Now let's get into the fragrances. So the first fragrance I went down with is by Tamine and it's Blue Heart. So this is basically like your coconut and saffron fragrance. It has depth, it's spicy, it's woody, it's not frou frou la la, it's not super girly, but it definitely adds a nice base to hold up all the other fragrances that you're gonna put on top of this fragrance. So then I went down with one of my favorite pineapple fragrances ever, Lamar by Kajal. This fragrance is a woody pineapple fragrance. You can wear it in the winter, spring, summer, and fall. For me, there's no season, okay? Like whenever I wanna smell this, I'm gonna wear it. It's sweet and fruity, but it's a different take on a pineapple. It's another unisex-ish kind of fragrance. It's not frou-frou la la, it's not super feminine, it's not your Dolce Gabbana pineapple. Like this pineapple is woody, it's musky, it has a lot of depth to it, and I can see somebody saying that it's masculine on them, but it's definitely a unisex scent. But for me, it's feminine on me, and to me, I don't feel like a man when I'm wearing this. It's a beautiful pineapple fragrance, and like I said, the pineapple lasts the entire life of the fragrance. So I completed the whole entire fragrance concoction with none other than Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc. It's a beautiful coconut scent. It's not super sweet. It's definitely more citrusy. It has like a woody vibe to it as well. Absolutely love it. This whole combination, this whole concoction was everything. I kept smelling myself. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna call it a waste because I loved how I smelled that night but I definitely need to repeat this. This needs to be repeated on another summer date night, you know, when my shoulders are out, legs out, everything, well, not everything out, girl, but you know, skin out and just smelling like a sexy pina colada. All right, guys, we made it to the end of the video. Leave it in the comments below and let me know, do you like pina colada scents? And if so, what are some of your pina colada routines? Let's share and talk about it like we always do. Remember guys to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.